What's up guys, Kurt Tashi here, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade in Craze BTC so you can start receiving your Bitcoin payments. Now, if you haven't heard of Craze BTC yet, basically it's a brand new program that pays you via Bitcoin. Now, if you want to learn more about the program, go ahead and click the link in the description that's going to take you to my website where you can learn more about it. Now, this video is mostly made for those who are already in Craze BTC and who just need a little bit of help of getting things going, um, completing the transactions, and etc. So first thing you want to do is once you've created your account, you want to log in and it'll be on your members dashboard. You want to scroll down and you want to click this button here that says upgrade to next stage. Okay, so you click that and the first thing it's going to ask you to do is it's going to ask you to pay your admin fee. Okay, So the admin fee is going to be 0 0.003185 BTC, which is about two or three US dollars. Yeah, Bitcoin fluctuates on a daily basis. Uh, right now it's about two to three bucks. And you're gonna send a payment to this wallet address right here. Okay. So what you want to do next is you want to go and log into whatever wallet you're using. Uh, you can use blockchain, they recommend recommend blockchain. Uh, you can use Coinbase, you can use coin payments, whatever wallet you want to use, it, it, they'll all work just fine. Uh, and for this demonstration, I'm gonna be using Coinbase. So log into Coinbase, and this here is a test account, so I'm not gonna actually going to Put the transaction through, complete, complete it. But I'm just going to go through all through some of the steps. This way, you guys will you'll be able to know exactly where to find what you're looking for when you in order to verify your transaction. Okay, so first of all, again, log into your wallet. Again, I'm logged into Coinbase. Okay, what you want to do is you want to go where it says send request. And if you're using blockchain or any other system, the steps are going to be very similar. So click on send request. And then you're going to come back over here to Craze BTC, and you want to you want to copy this wallet address. And if you want, you can also just click this to copy if you want. Uh, and then you go back to Coinbase, and you're going to paste in the wallet address. And for the amount, what I do is I go back and I I copy it just to make sure I don't mistype anything. So you're going to copy that. Go back to Coinbase, paste it in. Actually, I'm going to do like this. Okay. And of course, we're going to send in Bitcoin, which is BTC. For the wallet, you want to select your BTC wallet. Coinbase gives you an Ethereum and a BTC wallet. Uh, of course, in this case, we're using Bitcoin, so we're choosing BTC. And then you want to write an optional message. I like to put a message in with this so I know exactly. Where the, where the tra what the transactions are for. So when I go back and look at my transactions, I can say, okay, this one was for this, this one was for this, etc. So for this, I'm just going to type in Craze BTC admin fee. And then you just click on send funds. Okay. Now, once you've sent your funds, <coughs> excuse me, you need to verify by entering your transaction hash ID. Okay. Now with Coinbase, in order to find your hash IDs for any transaction, you're just going to go back to your dashboard. And you're going to scroll down a little bit. And this is going to show you some of your recent activity. Okay. So you want to find the transaction that you just did, which you most likely which should, it should be the top one right here. And you're going to click on the transaction listing. And that's gonna this little one is gonna pop up. It's gonna have the amount. It's gonna have the the address that it was sent to. It's gonna have a note of whatever whatever that is. Like for for example, this was a, a separate transaction where I sent Bitcoin to my own to my blockchain wallet. Uh, for our demonstration, this would have said Craze BTC admin fee. Okay. And you, what you want to do is you want right here is if you just send the payment through, it's, it should say pending right here. To get the hash ID, you want to go and click where it says comp, the number of confirmations. Uh, it'll at first it'll say zero confirmation when you first do it. Okay, within a, within about ten minutes, it should have several thousand confirmations. Just click on this list highlighted link right here, the confirmations, and that's going to load up another page, and right here. At the very top is going to be your hash ID. Okay, you're going to copy that hash ID, 
You're going to go back to your Crazy BTC account, and you're going to paste in your hash ID right here, and then you're just going to click on Submit. Okay. Now, once you've done that, it may take a few minutes to, to complete, to go through, to, to verify. Uh, basically, you're waiting for the transactions to be verified through the blockchain. Okay. Once that's done, then your admin fee is all set. Then all you have to do is go follow the same process to pay your your level one fee. Okay, so for example, and again, I'm not going to do it through this account because it's I've already I already have my account upgraded. You would just follow the same process. Now, once you go back to your dashboard, and and which it'll go. You want to click on upgrade to next stage, and when you do that, it'll take you. It'll prompt you to upgrade to level one. Okay, so to upgrade to the next stage, you would simply, it would be uh, 0 0.01 BTC, which would be your uh, upgrade for level one. You would copy the wallet address here and follow the same exact process. And it's very simple. Uh, once you've done that, you can, of course, you can upgrade to all three levels if, if you want to all at once, if you really want to. Uh, or you can simply do one level at a time. But you have to get the admin fee done paid first, then upgrade to level one, send the payment from your wallet to whatever wallet address is right here, okay, under level one. Then once the transact once you send the transaction, follow the same process I just showed you to get the hash ID. Again, I, what I showed was through Coinbase. If you're using blockchain or coin payments, the process is going to be similar. Just find wherever they list, wherever your list of transactions are, and then click on that listing for that specific transaction, and follow that same process to get your hash ID. And that's it. It's very simple. You know, it's a couple. It's a few extra steps um, as compared to fiat currency. But again, it's once you get used to it, it's really simple. So guys, I'm thanks for watching. And if you are not in Craze BTC yet, yeah, you need to get in right now. Go ahead and click the link in the description if you're not in. And with that, I will I thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. And we'll talk soon. Bye.